After taking 14,000 steps to literally walk across the entirety of the Skyrim map, people kept asking me, how many steps does it actually take to walk up the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar? Well, let's find out. I'm using a phone app in my pocket that makes me walk in the game when I walk in place, and it counts my steps. Link in the description. Three, two, one, let's go! Da -da 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 -da. And now welcome to the riveting gameplay that is walking up the 7,000 steps. Since it took only 14,000 steps to walk across Skyrim, I was already pretty skeptical that this could possibly take 7,000 steps. I honestly thought it was going to be like 3,000 steps. For this challenge, I once again turned on god mode and turned off AI detection so the mean old frost troll wouldn't bother me. After walking for 25 minutes, I realized it only took me 2,500 steps. So, that's your short answer. Alright, we made it. But I wasn't satisfied with that answer. What I wanted to know was how many steps it would take to get to the tippy top of the mountain. Would that potentially hit 7,000 steps walking? I know that's not what they mean by the 7,000 steps, but I had to know. So I walked through High Hrothgar and kept going. And then I hit my first real obstacle. So, I haven't learned the voice yet. <laughs> On this save file, I haven't yet learned the clear skies shout so I would get hurt if I walked through this wind. I didn't really want to restart the walk and lose my precious step count. Then, someone in chat geniusly suggested simply turning off collision, which was good enough for this run, or walk, or whatever you want to call it. Unfortunately, walking up the rest of the mountain was pretty tough because it was super foggy and hard to see. No, wait, which way am I going? Guys, I'm lost. I can't see anything. Do I go down? I can't. I can't see anything. Which way do I go? Left or right? Okay. So like this way? This feels incorrect. That's not that's not right. Wrong way. Just follow the plain road. <laughs> oh, that very big obvious road. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I said I'm the dragonborn. I didn't say I was the the, the good dra uh, the small the big the smart. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking. After making some initial wrong turns, I eventually made it up to the top of the mountain. Which was kind of funny because the dragon Arthanax was not here since, you know, I wasn't supposed to be here yet. So at this point, when we made it to the tip top of the mountain, we were at 3,700 steps. Alright, it's been an hour and we're at the top. So clearly, the 7,000 steps is getting up here and all the way back down. So... Let's go walk back down. <laughs> there we go. We're halfway there, you guys. Am I coping? No, I'm just right. After wandering around for a bit at the top, I went back down to the bottom, and as you might expect, it doubled my distance, which I didn't immediately assume since you probably have to take more steps to walk up a steep incline than to walk down because, you know, gravity and physics and stuff. Right when I was close to the bottom, something terrible happened. Uh, it seems like the most common next thing to do is to walk around Solstheim, 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 which is great. That sounds like a great idea. The problem is there's not a very direct path to walking around that island. I tried it today. I was like, I, 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 oh, no, no. What happened? What happened? This app crashed. Oh, please. I hope my, my, my count, my steps are still there. Oh, come on, please. Oh, oh no! Oh no! If I hit today, it's not going to be accurate. It was at like 7,000, right? 7,500? Oof. Okay, so like the amount of steps I've taken today is pretty similar, so it's like an extra 100 steps. It was an extra 100 steps, right? So I'm just going to subtract 100 from here. And technically, I did kind of go off track a little bit. Um, remember, remember you guys, I uh, totally accidentally stepped a hundred times. I took a hundred steps unintentionally. So, um, it's fine. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, okay? My app kept messing up and it stopped tracking my steps and then it reset my current session step count, which was super frustrating. But luckily this app also tracks the current day's steps, which only added an extra hundred steps from before I officially started at the bottom of the stairs. Look at this. The 7,000 steps is actually like 8,000 steps to get all the way up to Parthenax and back down. And we have made it. 
So basically, disregarding my getting lost and wandering around at the top of the mountain and my step tracker app messing up, it is roughly 7,000 steps to go from the bottom of the mountain all the way to the top of the throat of the world and back down. So I know that that's not what they meant at all by the 7,000 steps, but I kind of just wanted to see if there was a way for me to get 7,000 steps while being on this mountain. And sure enough, I was. So if you do want to see that walk across Skyrim and haven't seen it yet, or you want to know how to set this up for yourself, check out these videos. Thanks for watching.